Hello, tonight I'm just going to do a short video on how to properly set up your Bundesvere LKS webbing. There's a lot of it on the market right now and it comes usually with the harness, the belt and a few pouches just thrown into uh, the butt bag and with no instructions on how to put it together. Uh, it should be assembled according to NATO Stanag 2311 and um, that is just the standard it was designed to so that everybody knows where everything is. It is a very modular system and it has a lot of different pouches to go with the harness. Um, I'm sure that some people out there will say there's better. There probably is. But for cheap and good, the uh, this setup is unrivaled um, for modularity and ease of changing configuration. So nowadays you get um, Usually you get your H strap, your entrenching tool pouch, and according to uh, NATO Stanag 2311, it should go up on your shoulders. I believe the split for mass is 30% on your shoulders, 70% on your hips. I realize that the harness is actually transferring the weight to your shoulders, but carrying the weight around your hips is uh, better for, um, it's better for the human. So the entrenching tool goes up on your shoulders. The G3 or G36 magazine pouches go underneath the, underneath the, uh, the web harness. So underneath the attachment point so that they're nice and close and they're on the front of your hips, uh, right at the joint. Then, so on your right hip, should be your sustenance pack or water bottle. Um, then right in the center of your back, you should have the uh, your haversack or uh, butt pack or whatever you want to call it. And off to that, off on your left hip, you're going to need your G3 bayonet or your AK bayonet, G36 bayonet. And other than that, that's about all there is. Um, you can put they have grenade pouches you can put your grenade pouches up on your uh, shoulders or off to the sides uh, there's room enough for that um, and um, there of course there will be setups where you can put your uzi or mp5 magazine pouches uh, your holster magazine pouch for a pistol um, it's all the same across the stanag uh, 2311 so Everything goes in the same position, but what nobody ever tells you is how to properly attach the um, the H straps to the belt. And I'm going to show you how to do that so that it locks and doesn't come open or it doesn't uh, fall off while you're walking. So we'll get on to that now. So this seems pretty obvious, but sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Um, this clasp has quite a large opening here and so what you want to do is come over down through the very bottom and then come up through the bottom and loop it around if you have enough loop it around and pull it through now you can use electrician's tape to hold it in place, but it's a very sturdy, but not, uh, it's, it's not a positive lock. And that is for the front. You, you want to do it so that you can adjust the front. To do the back, you want to do the back so that it is locked and it will not come off. So for the back, what you do is come down through the bottom, all the way along the bottom, Come up and over the bottom bar, around the bottom bar, and go underneath in front of the top bar, and then bring it right around the top bar. If I can get this. So once you've got enough material, 
then if you have extra you can just stick it through the top there and that will make it so that it will not come off so again all the way down through the bottom up and around the bottom bar then through underneath the top and just through the little keeper at the top and that will give you your setup that will not come undone and that is how you set up your um, H straps and belt. I hope you like this video. If there's anything out there that you would like me to investigate, just please let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next.